racing here for Pro Stock side by side. Pro racing has just begun here in Champion on Chip Off Road Racing here. Watch as these, this corner it really, really widens out, James. Jeremy Hull takes the lead over there from Waz as they dive down to that hard left-hander off the clay and into that infield black dirt. Oh, we got a couple cars tangled. We have a parking lot down on the bottom. And yeah, Green's not wasting any time. You've seen him in opening ceremonies. He's putting the loud pedal down, trying to go the long way. Look at this, we're side by side on the back stretch. Really, really tight, and there goes Green. I'm into second now. Here comes Green. Green all over the back door. Side by side as they go past the finish line into turn one. Green's on the outside. No chance to make it move there for CJ Green. So the ball back a bit from Jeremy. Wild man starting to mix it up with CJ Green. This battle for first is a three-way race, Fred. Yeah, here comes Adrian Chetty. He's gonna go to the inside once again. Cannot make that pass. And you oh. see, oh, Chetty making contact. Oh, that could have been bad. There was great. cars right there. Great save by Chetty. Had to go off the track to avoid a car that was parked alongside. He's right back in the mix now on the back bumper of Hula as they come back out of the Amsoil front straight. Oh, Wash There's goes up on the man. bike. Waz just went up on the bicycle for one little moment, allowing Adrian Chetty to come through, but here comes Waz once again. But it's all CJ Greaves here this afternoon in the pro stock side-by-side, -side, gonna take the win, but Scott Waz here, here's the battle for a second. Gonna be Waz. Here we go, Shane, two by two rolling start, and we're already underway. The green flag flies going in front of this huge, huge crowd. Kyle Olsen has the early race lead in that Can-Am. Carlson looks down to the inside. Will Carlson taking away that spot. Now he takes over the lead. They're three wide coming off the tabletop. Kyle Chaney now trying to find some of that dry dirt that TJ Grease found in the pro stock side-by-side -side race. We're going three heading. wide, three oh. wide down into turn one. Look at that slide job by Cheney as he goes around Olsen. Now Cheney will pull up to the back bumper of Loire as they go down the back stretch. Textbook pass by Kyle Cheney. Watch as they get really, really hard on the brakes. Loire got a little bit crossed up over that tabletop. Yeah, he jumped up in the middle of the jump and he came out on the left-hand side, giving Ronnie Van Eppern a little shot. Here he goes to that inside. You try to apex that turn to get a good run. There's Ronnie, watch as he jumps into it. Look at Ben Epperin, look at that inside. He's trying to get that grip right by the tractor tire and he just pushed. Yeah, Loire had a little bit of a push there too. That's what opened the door in the first place for Van Epperin. Now Van Epperin looks to the low side, they're side by side. Van Epperin trying to outbreak Loire and does. Gonna take over that spot. Beautiful job by Van Epperin. Got that car to rotate in perfectly to that left-hand hairpin. And now he's leaving Robert Loire and his done. Rodney, he's backing it in like a pro four, gonna try to get a run on the inside. He might have found some shame. Once again into the Falcon Tires final turn. Carlson, Van Eppert, about two car legs separate the two. Down the Amsoil home stretch, checkered flag is out and Andrew Carlson takes the win in round one of Bromont side by side. Trouble early in front of us, Brent. Zakowski got a little bit crossed up, able to gather it up. Nobody's the worst for wear. Wow. As our field goes through turn one, Kit K to the outside. He's got the early race lead over Ryan Beat. One lap is in the books here. Keegan Kincaid is your race leader. Then it's Beat Brooks. Here goes Brooks up the inside of Ryan Beat in turn one. Brooks overcooked it just a little bit, has to hang on. Brooks has to settle back into third, but Beat right now has his hands full with the number 77. He's trying outside, he's trying inside. Watch him try to square it away here. Beat over rotates, he goes oh. around! Well, here we go, Shane. Keegan Kincaid not missing a heartbeat. These things are going to get interesting. Keegan Kincaid out front, like you said. Jared Brooks in second. Look at those turns. Yeah, there's a hole developing down there in turn one. We'll have to keep an eye on that as well. King Kincaid going to that wide line again. It looks like Brooks maybe doing a little copycat move. Said, hey, Keegan, maybe you found something that I don't know about. So we'll see. 
if he can capitalize on it as the time is starting to run down here with about four minutes to go in this Pro 2 race. Flying down the backstretch, Gutierrez has gotten around climbing for fifth. Here comes Bede, Bede to the inside of Thomas. Oh, they get tangled, Gutierrez goes around. Oh, Ryan Bede stalls the truck, he collects Kyle Klein and Corey Winter. Oh, tough break. Once again, down into turn one, Brooks looks to the inside again. Didn't find any of those holes, but not a lot of drive down there on the bottom of the track for that number 77 truck. Look at Brooks, Brooks going to the inside. He's trying to sneak under Kincaid, but that's where it gets tight. You run out of real estate right there coming through that section. Look at Brooks, Brooks going to the inside. He's trying to sneak under Kincaid, but that's where it gets tight. You run out of real estate right there coming through that section. Kincaid still holding on to that spot. Brooks second, one turn to go for the Lucas Oil backboard of Keegan Kincaid. A brand new sponsorship, a brand new year. He's gonna take round number one. It's a little jump on Henderson and already here comes Johnny Grease and Carlson trying to make it three wide as Grease pitching it sideways. Oh, oh, and Green's got into Jenny, and he's going to end up on his side. That's going to collect both CJ and Jimmy Henderson. Once again, the Pro 4 field, six trucks this time down into turn one. Carlson finding those same holes that Brooks was finding in Pro 2. You see Kyle Duke, he snuck underneath Andrew Carlson. We'll see. Yeah. This is where it gets tricky right here. Everyone really checking up. Here we go back up front. That's Jimmy Henderson pushing really, really wide. That's Kyle Duke. And that right white board trying to run down our race leader early on. There goes our race leaders. Here comes CJ Green. There's Henderson. Again. Leduc going to the bottom chain. Leduc trying to make it stick down there. Not enough traction for him to get the drive out of that corner to pull alongside Henderson. So Henderson leads once again down to this left-hander. Yeah, watch as his track starts to dry out. Kyle Leduc trying to rotate. He hits the tractor tire. Guys like Leduc, they're waiting for that thing. Oh, Henderson! Henderson over rotate. Very nice art you have to plan out. You really have to draw a nice picture. Trouble oh, for Henderson off. Henderson pulls off, was leading. That's going to let CJ Greaves inherit the lead as he comes past Damsoil straight away. Cool to have Doug Matank back. Look at him swapping back and forth. Yeah, they're going to be side by side, fender to fender as they enter Cooper Tires' turn. Greaves is on the inside now. Greaves is going to slam the door, but here comes Matang back up the inside. Oh, well, Matang makes contact with Greaves. We'll see if he can capitalize on it as Johnny Greaves now trying to hunt down his son, Matang, and now Leduc. Yeah, Leduc made some contact corner for corner there with Doug Matang with that resetting of the field. As you see, Johnny Greaves again over rotates. He's going to collect Kyle Leduc. But here comes Matang. Matang's running through that inside. They're side by side. Greaves now goes by Matang, and he used that tractor tire as a buddy. He used it as a little pick, if you call it, in basketball. Yeah, veteran move there by Johnny. Look at this, Johnny Green really putting on the pressure at the end here, but I think there's just not enough time, Shane. Broke on Green. Green slows down. Johnny Green is broke. Something has gone wrong with Johnny Green. Maybe a transmission. Well, coming out of the final turn, here in Anago, Wisconsin, your round one winner, outlasting everyone in the field, the 33 Monster Energy ride of C.J. Green.